Hi, I'm Tim Schotter, and today we're going to cover how to optimize your MacBook or MacBook Pro for GarageBand. As you can see, we've got a lot of Macs here, ranging from new to old to mid-range. Now, you're probably wondering, how exactly do I optimize my MacBook to get the best performance out of GarageBand? Well, that comes down to two factors. One is your processor, and the other is RAM. Now, in an older MacBook, or PowerBook G4, like this one, it's only got about a gigahertz processor and about 768 megabytes of RAM. That's good for an old version of GarageBand and will do you just fine generally. But if you want to run anything newer, you have to have a newer computer. This is a 2007 mid-range MacBook Pro that's been upgraded to 6 gigabytes of RAM, and it can run just about everything that the new version of GarageBand can. This is a 2011 mid-range MacBook Pro that's been upgraded as well. Now, when you're buying a MacBook Pro, if it's new, you generally don't have to worry about GarageBand, as every new MacBook Pro comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and that's just perfect for GarageBand. Now there's a couple of other software things that you can do to help optimize your GarageBand performance. Let me show you. Now in GarageBand, you can go up to Preferences and click on Advanced. And you'll notice you have a couple of options here, such as Audio Resolution. Now Audio Resolution basically is the estimate of how much space it takes to record good or medium-sized audio. If you record at the good setting, you may get a better performance out of your MacBook depending on how much RAM and how old your MacBook may be. Another thing that you can do is just go to your desktop on your Mac and click on the Apple icon. Click on About This Mac and you'll see your general summary of your system. This one has a 2.4 gigahertz processor and four gigabytes of RAM. That's pretty good for running most things in GarageBand. And once you've located how much RAM your Mac has, you can feel free to upgrade it. And another thing you can try is record your project on an external hard drive. To do that, make sure you drug your project file over to the external hard drive. This can increase performance and recording time depending on how fast the external hard drive is and how good the connection is to your MacBook Pro. Hopefully these tricks have helped you improve your performance of GarageBand on your Mac.